Hello, this is Steve, the Croat Glassman. Hey, here I am. A picture of myself. It's going to be a pretty cool series. It's different. Dichroic glass used in a different kind of a way, more of a technical scientific sense. Hey, you're wondering, what's that mean? And who's the guy talking? Well, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. <laughs> this is about sheets of dichroic glass. Some people are totally unfamiliar with dichroic glass. Well, dichroic is not a glass. It's a coating put on glass because glass is an excellent substrate to handle heat, temperature, and vacuum. So they use glass often. But a lot of people think dichroic is a such and such, a particular thickness or a color or something. Not so. No more than sugar is just a coating. So dichroic is kind of an interesting conundrum. A standard coating by CBS, coatings by Sandberg, is 18 microns or millionths of an inch. To other industries it may vary. I generally only use CBS glass because I love and can depend on the consistencies. However, in this particular case, we're going to fall into a unique category. This is dichroic glass that was not intended to be used for the fusing industry or for lamp working industry. It's different. How so? I was contacted by a company some time back, recently that is, about these giant sheets, or they call them planets, 30 inch diameter. And they told me that these planets were used as light filters, if you will, on stages, perhaps maybe even Hollywood. The conversation's been long ago and I didn't write it down, and so just kind of getting the flavor of things, it was used in the lighting industry. It was not intended to be used for lamp working, even though this glass is boro. Voila! Interesting to the, the boro people, but the thing about this glass is its requirements were not made for the industry that you boro people traditionally would have. This glass had requirements for the lighting industry. The depth, the intensity, the luster, well, all those things. In their industry, this is top shelf glass. It's not suitable to fuse because it's boro. Boro has a coefficient roughly a 30 to 33, so it's very tough glass. I don't recommend fusing it. There are no accessories. There's no stringers. There's no colors. There's really nothing much you can do with that glass if you're going to use it in a kiln, unless you have some advanced processes in mind. But by and large, check out the colors. By and large, this glass has an incredibly different application that makes it even better than the other glasses out there. And that's what we'll talk about in future videos. There's going to be a long series in this series, or I should say a big set of videos in this series of looking at these sheets and why you're going to want to get next to it. This is conventionally what a typical size would look like in the industry. That's 19 inches that I'm just easily doing this with, extending my arm out there. That's a 19 inch circle. I cut a piece of poster board to kind of give you that idea of how big this sheet is at 30 inch. 19, 30. Huge. So revert to this video as a basis for the rest of the videos that will follow. This glass will be sold in three different ways. Shapes, that is. I will be selling them as full rounds, and they, many of them will have a chip. Out of them, that chip is only two inches, so to speak, that chip, this one's three, and they will vary. These are planets. There will be a certain price for them and a minimum requirement to a box that I will build and ship anywhere in America. The next way will be a perfect half circle in most cases. No chips, no interruptions and those will be half circles. Then we have a quarter circle as you can see right here. So let's look at this a little bit closer. By the way, did you know that a dental mirror is dichroic glass? Yeah, a little mirror that's used to check out your cavities and your teeth. That's dichroic. It's thin layer coating. That industry uses dichroic glass way more than our industry of the art based as hopefully some of you viewers are the artists who use dichroic glass. It's, I'm taking my micrometer 
zeroing it out and then we'll check our thickness our thickness is a hundred and basically it's two inch or two millimeter I'm gonna zero that out again was off I'm miking out at 186 it's pretty close to 2 mil so you're wondering what's that got to do with anything well this is double strength window glass which is about the same thickness as stained glass and it comes in at 2.99 millimeters close to 3 this is close to 3 millimeter your standard stained glass texture or spectrum and that type of thing uh, your, uh, and then this is coming in at 183, 186, or 1 1.86, 1 1.90 millimeter. So it's a little bit under two millimeter. The other is three. Gives you a frame of reference. There will be ver a lot of colors available in variations of each. Thanks for watching the video. You will want to watch the rest. I can assure you, it will be getting exciting. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Bye-bye.